33 years later and a cold case murder trial begins with jury selection today and the defendant in this case is facing the death penalty. Thank you for joining us on this Monday. I'm Nadine Giannis. I'm Chris Earl. Joseph Zeiler is charged with killing a babysitter in Cape Coral and an 11 year old girl back in 1990. Zeiler facing some potential jurors today in a Lee County courtroom. That's also where we find Fox 4's Caitlin Knapp. Yeah, and Caitlin, tell us today, what did Zeiler have to say on the first day of jury selection? Well, his face showed little outward emotion pretty much the entire time today. As far as addressing the court, Zyler did try to fire counsel, saying that they are not competent. However, the judge did deny that particular request. One of the interesting uh, facts about this case is that it's one of the first ones in Lee County with the new death penalty law that was signed in April. And it's a little bit of a weird case here that we'll get to in just a minute. And that law may or may not change the outcome of this case if Zyler is found guilty of killing two people 33 years ago. When you heard this morning that this was a double homicide case, how did how'd that make you feel? That is one of many questions as jury selection starts in the case against Joseph Zyler. On May 10, 1990, Cape Coral Police say Zyler, then 28 years old, suffocated and sexually assaulted babysitter Lisa Story and 11-year-old Robin Cornell. This was an old case, but it has never been looked at as a cold case. In 2016, police announced an arrest, Joseph Zyler. They say DNA from the scene matched Zyler's DNA taken during an unrelated arrest. DNA Zyler and his attorneys tried to get thrown out of court before Monday and a lot of questions about the death penalty. Because we have a new law, it, it takes eight folks to vote for death in order to send a recommendation of death to the judge. A law passed by Governor Ron DeSantis in April, which makes it easier to recommend death if convicted. The death penalty is a topic both the state and defense focused on during Monday's line of questioning. If you're one of the, the ones that say life, Regardless of what the other people are saying, can you stick by your guns? Judge Robert Branding says the trial could take two to three weeks, up to three to four days for deliberation, and another three to four days for the penalty phase if the jury convicts Zyler, who is now 61 on the murder charges. At the moment, 17 potential jurors will come back on Thursday morning for a second round of questioning. However, we still have a long way to go. 75 potential jurors will come back tomorrow for their first round of questioning, and that will happen again on Wednesday. So this trial could take two to three weeks. We're going to keep following this double murder trial and bring you the latest as it starts to progress forward. Reporting live inside the Lee County Courthouse, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.